Hello people of the tubes, why would I record a video right after getting out of the shower? I am so fucking low energy right now. God, I'm gonna wake up. Hey, welcome to the Steam Carousel, where I play shitty games and I refund them. Double feature, because there's two games that are so stupid that they didn't even deserve their own video. Yeah, that's right. Radical Rogers, he's a... Uh, Really annoying type of Game Boy that, that attaches to your backpack and then you've got metal arms and you've got a little boy. He's, he's possessed a little boy. The demon the demon Game Boy is possessed a little boy. Now they're running around and he's constantly talking to him, being real fucking annoying. Witty goddamn bullshit. Every, every two seconds a new annoying sound that they gotta make. Gotta talk about things that are... Trying to be funny, but not funny at all. God damn it, this is what we're up to. And meanwhile, like any kind of parody game, they've got the worst features of all the games that they're parodying, but that's just par for the core, isn't it? Or were they supposed to be... Were they trying to do an homage? Because, I, I don't know, man, it's just so weird. So you got really weird jumping mechanics and... Real weird level design, and the level design it seems to be too small, so you can't even tell where you're going. You can't tell where the level ends and begins, because your screen's fairly small, and your character's annoyingly large on it, and so are all the enemies. And you, you shoot guns just like on a regular shooter, right? Yep, just like Jazz Jackrabbit, only that game had tiny characters that were actually... Good, because you could see what was going on, even though I guess you moved on. No, I guess you move fast in this one too, so I don't know which one's better for being the right speed to, to screen size ratio, but either way this one's fucked up because it's not not even a proper platform where you just get to the exit. No, 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 we're gonna have... Four keys that you have to collect before the exit opens and they're just randomly in the level and you're gonna go find the secret. It's, it's, a, it's a real pain in the ass and meanwhile there's enemies, I don't know, they seem to respawn, maybe I'm wrong, maybe they're just there from the start and then they reduce your health so exploring is not exactly pleasant because of that but you're, you're required to explore these, these samey and stupid levels every time and and there's a water slide where you have to <coughs> make sure not to fall off the water. And then if you if you don't jump at the right time to get the, the puzzle key, you gotta ride the whole ride again. And watch out not to fall into the water. That takes off a quarter of your health. God damn it. <laughs> and the whole game lags like shit as well. Uh, had to be said, it's real, real fucking laggy. I don't remember these retro games being real fucking laggy in the day, but I guess that's how we're gonna parody them, don't we? They're gonna be real laggy, and everything's gonna be real annoying, and the graphics aren't even that good, because they, they got a, a nice amount of detail, but they got a terrible art style, and the only thing I actually like was when they collect the key or whatever, and the, the, the kid goes real happy smile, and he's like, Whoa! I got the key, but then turns out you can get hit right after that animation, so it's not even that great. So fucking refund. And next up is Guts and Glory. It's the 3D Happy Wheels game. I don't know if it's fully licensed or what, but it's obviously much better than the Happy Wheels game, but I had to refund it because it's just a YouTube fodder. It's not a real game, it's just a game that you watch your favorite YouTuber play and they, they run into walls and you, you spare the reality of how goddamn fucking annoying the controls are. But I guess they gotta be annoying because you, you wanna see your character die horrifically, don't you? You wanna, you wanna see how the little boy's head gets cut off because you've, you've done the biking wrong. But unfortunately the controls are so bad and I couldn't even enjoy that. And, I came to a part where I had to ride down a hill and jump off a, a ramp and land on a on a roof, and I I would just keep dying on it because it's just like the physics are so goddamn unreliable and the controls are so goddamn imprecise and then you gotta make make me a challenge where I have to fucking cycle down a hill and jump off a 
Jump off a, a ramp on onto a roof? No, my god, no, I don't think so. Fucking no. It was... I mean, it was enjoyable to look at, but it's not enjoyable to play and therefore it fails at the game and... Yep, that's what happens. And this is... Isn't this the weirdest video? Just me talking non-stop without even taking a breather, or at least so it feels to me. I don't know even. Maybe if I listen back to it, it seems that I've been making stupidly long gaps in between words and I didn't even realize it. But I, I feel like I've made everything come out in a, in a solid stream of of feces. Just, <laughs> just lots of words coming out in one after another like... A, no more, no, no more comparisons, it's words. <laughs> so here we go, <laughs> what have I done? I don't normally talk like this, this is crazy. I guess it's because I was doing video with, videos with E-Rich and I guess I had to keep talking, otherwise he'd cut me off until if I, if I let on that I was gonna stop talking. So there, there we go, you should, you should look at me, look at me talking about the movies. I follow the, the the link in the descriptions. There's a this movie. Uh, this video. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I should take a little break for this part. I I I, I do podcast with Erid from Monkey's video series called well podcast series called is it Kino? But it's not with Monkey. It's just with Erid, and it's really good because we talk about. TV shows, and I sure love talking about TV shows. We've done one about Star Trek Discovery, and we've done one about Big Bang Theory, and God knows, maybe we'll do Simpsons and Walking Dead next. It's pretty exciting. Go check out Erich's channel, and he... And I'm on, like, half his videos so far, so... You might as well, if you like listening to me. I don't know, maybe. Guess I, I am someone that people listen to sometimes, but not often. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Bye. Subscribe, by the way. <laughs>